In this video, I will try to show you how I use ESP32 Bluetooth Low Energy to send out values via a custom characteristic, as a BLE server. The values sent simply measure how long the board is up and running. The program is developed using Arduino IDE, and therefore, I will assume that you have Arduino IDE and ESP32 support installed. If not, you may want to watch my previous video showing how this can be done. For the receiver side, I will be using the Android app NRF Connect for mobile. The sketch is actually adapted from the sample VLE server that comes with Arduino IDE, ESP32 board installation. Initially, I will show you how to send out value for VLE client to read. Then I will modify the sketch just a tiny bit so that VLE client is notified of new values that the sketch sent. Let's get started. With Arduino IDE open, first make sure that ESP32 board is selected as the target development board, in this case, I will select ESP32 dev module. And certainly, the correct port to which the ESP32 board is connected, needs be selected. The sketch can be downloaded from the link in the description of this video. I will just review it here. Lines 3 to 6 include the needed header files, there are quite a few of them. Lines 10 to 11 define the VLE service UUID and the VLE characteristic UUID. Both UUIDs are custom UUIDs that you can generate yourself, say, with the help for the website UUIDgenerator.net. Line 16 declares the global variable P characteristic, which will be initialized in the setup block to a characteristic object, through which, values of the characteristic O will be sent out. In the setup block, line 20 initializes BLE device, giving it the name ESP32 BLE. Line 21 creates the BLE server, from which, Line 22 creates the custom BLE service of the provided service UUID. From the custom BLE service, Line 24 creates the custom characteristic of the provided characteristic UUID. Lines 27 to 31 start everything up. Line 34 declares the global variable start millis, and initializes it to current time millis, at that point. In the loop block, line 36 calculates the time difference between now and start millis, in second. Line 37 sends out the value via the custom characteristic object. Notice that the value sent out is formatted with prefix, up. Line 38 delay for a second. The whole loop block will be called again momentarily. Now, upload the sketch and see if it works as expected. As mentioned, the Android app NRF Connect for Mobile will be used as BLE client for this exercise. In the scanner page, see that ESP32 BLE is listed. Connect it. Once connected, a page is shown showing all the services it provides. The unknown service shown is the custom service that the sketch provides. Click on it to expand it. The unknown characteristic shown is the custom characteristic via which values are sent out from the sketch. The down arrow icon means that value can be read from the characteristic. Click on it. See that the value sent out from the sketch can be read by the app. Whenever you want to see a new value sent, just click the down arrow icon. It can be easier than that. Actually BLE has a notify mechanism so that BLE server can notify BLE client of new values. Let's see how the sketch needs be modified to enable this notification mechanism. First, when create the custom characteristic in line 24, indicates notification by combining the property notify flag with the property red flag. Next, in line 30, add the 2902 descriptor to the custom characteristic as shown. Finally, in line 40, add the code calling notify method of the characteristic object, after setting new value. That's it. Upload the sketch again, and see it is working as expected.
Lastly, I will show you that dumb display can be used for this simple DLE characteristic monitor purpose. Just for fun, let's write yet another simple sketch that send out four values via four different custom characteristics, namely, angle, sine, cosine and tangent of the angle. Lines 1 to 3 include the needed header files. Lines 6 to 10 define the UUIDs for the custom service, and the four custom characteristics. Lines 13 to 16 declare pointers to the different characteristic objects, which will be created in the setup block. In the setup block, line 19 to 21 initialize the BLE device, giving it the name ESP32BLE. Line 23 to 34 create the four characteristic objects for the four values. Notice that the characteristics will be readable and notifiable. Line 36 to 39 start everything up. Line 42 declares and initialize the global variable angle to zero. In the loop block, line 44 convert the angle, which is supposed to be in degree, to radian. Line 45 to 47 calculate the sine, cosine, and tangent of the converted angle, which is now in radian. Line 49 to 56 send out the four values via the four characteristics. Notice that the notify method of the characteristic object is called after setting value. Just before the loop block ends, line 58 to 62 increment the angle by 5, wrapping it to 0 if necessary. Then it delay for a second. That is it. Update the sketch and see it working.